that I have dictated the North Island Powell River. Mr. Speaker, those who join the Canadian Forces do so because they believe in service to their country. Now members are leaving their jobs because they can't keep up with rising house costs. Those who keep us safe can't afford a home. And the Liberals and Conservatives solution? Leave housing to condo developers who keep costs so high. The people who serve us deserve better. What is this government going to do to ensure that members of the Canadian Armed Forces do not become homeless? Mr. President, I want to say thanks to the member for raising, and I know um, how advocate she has brought forward a lot of issues in this House. But let me be very clear. Military members and their families are our top priorities, and we're taking steps to ensure that they are supported. This is why we're working with our stakeholders to align resources and acquires, uh, acquire additional housing, Mr. Speaker. In our budget 2022-2023 alone, we've invested $55 million in residential housing for our CAF member. Merci, Monsieur le Président.